guys, so I just wanted to start off this video by saying I've only ever been to one fan sign, so I'm by no means an expert. There are definitely people that are more qualified to be making this video, but when I was going to my first fan sign, I had to beg people for information. And I don't understand why people want to make it so secretive, so I decided to make this video to help explain things to fans. All K-pop groups have fan cafes that they'll post on. Uh, JYP has fans.com, and I know a lot of other groups use down cafes. Basically, they'll post a fan sign notice on there, so you can go and look up where the where you buy the albums from for the fan sign, the buying period, and when the uh, final list will be posted. No, you do not need to be an official fan club member of the group to go to a fan sign. Yes, uh, when you see the fan sign notice on the group's fan cafe, it'll tell you the store location and uh, the buying period. So usually it's like two to three days that you get to buy the albums for that specific fan sign. I, they'll have a form like a doctor's waiting room list kind of thing, and you'll have to put down like your name and your date of birth, um, your telephone number. Um, mini albums usually cost from the stores that sell them like 15,000 won, so like $14.50 ish. Basically on the music store's website, they have a section where it tells you the list of people who got into the fan sign. It'll tell you like on the fan cafe what day the list will be put out. But basically I'll just have a list, it starts with um, the foreigner names first because it'll go like, for some reason even in Korea, alphabetical order works as like English things first or like Romanized things and then it goes to Hangul. So if you're a foreigner, your name will be at the top so it'll be like really easy for you to see if you got in or not. And um, like in the picture that I'm about to put up will show, they don't put your name just like blatantly on like this website, they like put asterisks in it so that like other people won't know it's you or what not. I don't know exactly why they do it, but that's how it works. So on the day of the fan sign, you need to make sure to have the little slip of paper that they give you when you fill out the form. So basically, uh, when you fill out the form there, you also have to fill out this little paper that will match what was on the form because they'll give um, the people running the fan sign the day of the form and basically they match your little slip of paper to that. And you need to have your ID, so passport or ARC card, depending on your length of stay again. And they'll give you a wristband, and then you'll pull a random, they have lanyards with like these little cards on them, and basically it has a number, usually one through 100, because there's usually 100 slots for a fan sign. You'll pull one and that'll be your seating number. Um, as for the album, you need to bring an album with you, obviously, and you need to have little post-it notes. So first of all, you need to have a post-it note with your name the way you want it signed to and post it onto the front of the album. And then you need to have the members' names, like, what I've done is I just stuck all these into the inside of the album cover, but you need to have them, like, on the page you want them to sign. So for example, like, I had Young Jays on this one, and so then he knows where to go to sign, so it, like, makes the process faster, and then he just, like, looks at the front and goes, Katie! Which, that's not how that worked, because he couldn't pronounce my name and he spelled it wrong on the inside. But, that's another story for another day. <laughs> there are a lot of foreign fans at my fan sign. I was the only Western fan. There are a lot of, like, Japanese and Chinese fans, and, like, some Thai fans that even come, because, obviously, that's, like, a couple hours flight. But, when I went, I was the only white fan. I know there are other people speaking to them in English, and I'm assuming we're probably like from Malaysia or Singapore maybe, but I was the only person that definitely did not look Asian at all. <laughs> but there are definitely more Korean fans. So basically at a fan sign, you sit down in your seat. My seat was number 65. I'll, I'll throw up a picture earlier, probably. We'll find out in editing, if I remember to do it. Um... <laughs> Basically, you sit in your seat and then the boys will come out 
and the front row will go up and do the like the signatures and they'll keep moving it row by row and basically for the most part you watch other people interact with them that's how fan sites get all those pictures of like the members with people as they're just sitting in the back waiting their turn or their turns already passed and they're just taking pictures Once everyone's gone through obviously like the first member of the group is going to be done first so he'll come out and like just wait and then there will still be people getting their albums signed and basically like slowly members just like start getting up and messing around at the front and then they mess around and like maybe like sing some songs casually for a little bit and then they do their goodbyes. Um, at fan signs there are definitely like there are Korean girls that will like yell out a question to a member if they don't have anyone in front of them because like sometimes a line will get held up and like you know, like for example, yu gi will be talking to someone for a while, and at my fan sign, j was left kind of, like, without a person for a fair chunk of time. So, like, some fans would, like, yell out and, like, do rock, paper, scissors with him just from their seat. But in terms of getting noticed, the main point when you can get noticed is when you're directly in front of them, like, this far away from them. It's, like, the best way to get a personal interaction with them. But in terms of, like, getting noticed, it's, like, the same odds as a concert from your seat. Fansign usually lasts about an hour and a half, two hours in total, I believe. I know my friend, I can like put up a little recheck on that because my friend definitely had to wait outside for me for the entirety of it. So I'll double check with her and see how long I was in there, but I'm pretty sure it was like an hour and a half, two hours. When you go to the store to buy them, you can either elect to take all of them with you or you can have them ship them to you if you're going to be there for a while. And you also have the option of taking some and then having others shipped. So I took 60 albums with me and my friend and I had to take them back from outside of Seoul back to my dorms, which was a nightmare. Definitely bring a suitcase if you're going to do that. And then I had the rest of my albums shipped to me. I done a group order for some of my albums, so that took like 50 of them out of the way. So. I was able to ship those to the people who ordered them. And then for a lot of the other ones, I brought home probably like 10 albums. And then I had to ship them back because they were too heavy for my suitcase. And it just made a mess for me. But I ended up taking off the cover posters and the post and taking the posters and photo cards out of the albums for the Eyes on You album. And I just literally did a group text to my dorm and said, hey, Anyone who wants a free Got 7 album, come to the lounge on the 6th floor and pick them up. So I just ended up having to give away a ton of them. But I brought home the posters and the photo cards because those didn't weigh as much as the album. So I was able to just bring them back with me and I can give them away or sell them and do giveaways with them. So basically... The process is easy, but you need to have the money to do it. I spent close to $2,000 for my fan sign. So if you are committed to doing it, I would definitely just go for the option of making sure you get in by buying plenty. I don't I wouldn't risk it with buying 50 because that's not a sure in. So if you want it if you want to be sure that you're going to get in, buy the most you can buy. I had people, I had friends that were with me that bought like 63 albums or 80 albums and they didn't get in. So I would say like a safe number for GOT7 specifically, because that's the only group I can speak on the behalf of, is 100 albums is like the safest bet as a foreign fan. Um, definitely if a group is newer, it's easier to get in because they don't have as many fans yet because they haven't had a chance to build their fan base. So I know you could get into like newer groups or like less popular groups with less albums. I know like some groups like... I had a friend that got into an SF9 fan sign with, I think, like, three albums. So, definitely, like, a newer group or a less popular group is easier to get into. So, I just had a couple last-minute things that no one asked questions about, but I felt were, like, important to say um, for GOT7 specifically. So, for GOT7, you can't do fan sign slots for them because the staff is really, like, particular about making sure that you're not changing the name on the front of the album so you, that's not an option that you can do um and when you give gifts for got seven and like more popular groups i think just in general 
when you give them like a stuffed animal, you don't get to just give it to them. They'll hold it and like play with it or sometimes draw on it during the fan sign, but at the end all of the gifts are given back. Like the staff will like the staff like puts them into boxes and then at the end they like dump it out at the stage and everyone just comes up and collects their stuff. And because it's Korea, like there's not really like a concern of someone stealing your thing. That's just not how it works there. But like letters and small things, like if you can fit your gift into an envelope and say it's a letter, you're good. They will post all of the rules on the fan cafe that you need to follow, so definitely translate those or ask someone to help you understand them. Because everything that you need to know will be on there. Um, like for example, one of the rules that they have for GOT7 is they don't let you do PS notes, so basically like the sticky notes where you can ask questions that some groups let you do on the inside where you have them sign. GOT7 doesn't let you do that anymore. Oh, the staff doesn't want you to take your bag up to the front. For Like, for GOT7 specifically, when I got to the front, I had my purse on me, and I had my phone on audio recording, and my iPod as, like, a backup on audio recording. And they were like, do you have your phone on you? And then they, like, I was like, no. And they were like, oh, well, you can't take your bag up to the front, though. So they, like, took it, and then they, like, saw my phone on voice recorder and my iPod on voice recorder. And, like... I knew, like, the ladies that were, like, the fan staff, so, like, she just kind of, like, looked at me, and I was like, I had to try, and she was like, yeah, and then turned them off, but basically, she asked me for my number, my seat number, so I went up, and they took my bag, and then after I was done, she came over and brought my bag back to me, but if you try to go up with your purse, she won't let you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. Next week I'll be doing a video on uh, studying abroad in South Korea, so if you have any questions about that, send them to my Curious Cat. It will be linked in the description, or you can just comment them as well below. Bye!